welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for another week in the lovely United Kingdom. And this week, we have one of my favorite cars from Forza Horizon 2, actually. This is the Mazda Cosmo, one of the best sleeper cars in this game. All you have to do to unlock it is a season event, so it should take you all of 10 minutes. However, before we get into that, the Forza-thon shop for the week, oh. Oh, that's a good week. Hello. We will also head over to the Horizon backstage. Check out what's in there. Ooh, two of my other favorite cars. The Hoonigan RS200, one of the best off-road cars in this game. And the Ford F-150 Pre-Runner. Some people might call me biased. I'm gonna vote for that one. Without further ado, let's go bang out the season event and unlock our Mazda Cosmo. Before we get into that though, we do need to thank the sponsor of today's episode and that's our friends over at The Ridge. You guys already know how The Ridge wallet is this super sleek minimalist wallet that can fit up to 12 of your favorite cards plus room for cash. And I'm sure you guys have seen the crazy colors and finishes that The Ridge wallets come in like carbon fiber. This one though is Damascus steel. The same stuff the used to make swords out of like a thousand years ago. Anyways, with Father's Day right around the corner, they make an awesome gift. Not to mention the Ridge also makes some really cool backpacks and duffel bags as well, which you can check out. So if you want to ditch your big bulky boring wallet, click the link in my description, go check out the Ridge, and don't forget to use code AR12 for 10% off. Thank you so much to the Ridge for sponsoring today's episode. Let's get back to it. 10 minutes later, Toyota across the line. Fastest guide to the galaxy has been completed. Three stars across the board. Oldest Mazda in Forza Horizon 4, the Mazda Cosmo 110S. We've got 130 horsepower, so it's actually pretty powerful considering it only weighs 2,100 pounds. I do want to drive this thing bone stock to see what it can do. As per usual though, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts. Uh, question though, wh wh why am I racing a Mercedes Unimog? A anyways though, the Mazda Cosmo. For those of you who don't know, this thing back in the day actually only entered in one racing series. You know, nowadays, endurance racing, right, is super, super popular. You have the 24 hours of Nürburgring or Daytona or Le Mans or so on, right? Back in 1969, Mazda entered two Mazda Cosmos. It was the 84 hours of Nürburgring in 1969. And Mazda was like, yup, we're gonna enter two Mazda Cosmos in and just see what they can do. They entered them, they were basically bone stock. What One of them broke down at the 82 hour mark and the other one finished in P4. That is insane. As you might be able to tell, we're, um, a little bit on the slow side. Yeah. Because this thing is so slow bone stock, that means we're gonna be able to toss more upgrades in when we do our customization. Maybe this is how they got so far in the 84 hours of the Nürburgring. They weren't driving particularly quickly and they weren't driving fast enough for anything to break down. Yeah. P P5. Let's jump straight over to our engine swaps and see what we can do. So, we've got our stock 130 horsepower Wankel rotary. Let's see what our other options are, though. A four-cylinder motorbike engine. Turbo four rally, that's not bad. Or a four rotor. Similarly to the way we started things off with the Mazda RX-3, I want to start off fairly slow. Maybe we'll start off with a little bit of B-class road racing. I feel like that could be fun. We're gonna ditch our stock engine. Let's go straight up and put a motorbike engine just for the memes, right? We'll also go with some all-wheel drive for the extra grip. Turbocharge our motorbike engine. We even do have some body mods. I love it. You can remove 
That big steel bumper, that's awesome. That also saves some weight on the vehicle, nice. Anybody else think this kind of looks like a frog now? Or is it just me? Anyways, in terms of our tires, we've got Street Sport Race, Horizon Race, Rally Tires, Drag Tires, and Vintage Race Tires. That's awesome. Unfortunately, we don't have any engine spacers in the rear. Wait, wait, what? Wait, we only have engine spacers in the rear? Why don't we have them in the front? I think somebody may have messed that up a little bit. Let's see though, with some better brakes, we're looking good suspension wise. How low can we get this thing? Oh my God. Oh my God, race suspension is sick. With all of our upgrades done, we weigh 2000 pounds with nearly 300 horsepower. This is gonna be an awesome like little spec series race car. I actually love the paint color. It looks so good. Okay, it's not gonna set any world record zero to 60, but we are way faster than the AI, which is I feel like the main thing we're trying to get across here. Stomp on the brakes. How are we in the corners with our all wheel drive? So grippy. Here we go. Just send it up the inside. This thing is sick in B-Class. Okay, Twitch chat keeps calling my car brown. I'm gonna ban every single one of you. It's orange, not brown. You know how sometimes people say the slower your car looks, the faster it is just because of how smooth it's able to drive? I, I feel like that's what this thing is. It's so easy to drive, so planted. Look how far behind. The AI, well, I, I would love to show you how far behind the AI is, but you can't even see them. They're that far behind. There they are finally going through the corner. That is so sick. Look at my lap time. That's not even fair. With that build out of the way, what do we think about Max upgrading this and, and doing what I said? Can we take the Mazda Cosmo and turn it into the ultimate sleeper car. For those of you who don't know, a sleeper car is something that looks like this. Something either from back in the day or something where the majority of people would just go, yeah, that's a slow looking car. But in reality, what's under the hood is anything but. Why do all Mazda cars look so happy? One of the only ways you would tell this car is actually fast is by the engine note, we're gonna have a four rotor engine into this thing, as well as some all wheel drive. One of the other ways you could tell this thing would be fast is if you looked at the tires, because we're gonna go with some race tire compound. Actually, really good news for us, since those rims are like old school and super big, they actually block our brakes. Unless you were specifically looking for the brakes, you wouldn't know that this thing has race brakes on it. We weigh less than 2,000 pounds, have more than 700 horsepower. What if we paint this thing beige? Nobody ever expects a beige car to be fast. Lamborghini Huracans. There's some Gallardos up in front. I think there's even a Ferrari and maybe a Porsche. Let's go Mazda Cup. All right, well, if you guys could not... Oh. All right, I know you don't like the old cars, but if we could not bully it, that would be amazing. Look at that, up the inside. Okay, the Hurricane's bullying. Come on, come on. I'm literally playing hot and cold with this Lambo. Round the outside, oh, understeer. Nobody saw that, and P1. Imagine spending two, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars on a brand new Lamborghini. And then this guy in a Mazda from the 1970s shows up. I think you can now see why this was one of my favorite cars in Forza Horizon 2. When this thing came out, nobody knew what it was. You can take it online and absolutely rinse people. That is so good. Not just as like an old car, but as an S1 class car. Awesome. You know what else I think this car would be really, really good for? Rally cross. If I come in here and I swap on rally tires, my class actually drops a little bit. Swap on a front splitter and swap on a rear wing. We're sitting at the top of S1 class, super lightweight, 
super crazy horsepower. Which chats like you will not be disappointed, okay? I just wanted to come and see what paint jobs were available for the Mazda Cosmo. This is the Mazda Cosmo Hot Wheels. What? One second. I have the car! That is so cool! Come on, Mazda Cosmo. Rally cross in the wet. How hard could it be? Come on, let's see how good this thing is. Yeah, okay, it's... It's fast. It's fast, and it's grippy. Which is, like, even better. Like, I am properly abusing the Mazda Cosmo right now. And it's dealing with it so well. Like, look at it go. Look at that speed. I know the majority of people look at this car and go, eh, why would you want that in Horizon? I, I think you can see why I like this car so much. It's so much fun. Absolutely nailed it. Little Mazda Cosmo jump drift across the line. I think we've reached the portion of the video where um, I, I crash into cars, and by that I mean... T time to go drifting. Would it really be an AR-12 video without any godlike drifting? I'm giving this one chance. No second attempt for the Mazda Cosmo. Snap it in. Jump drift 360. Avoid the traffic. Yep. Yep. This is so sick. 120 miles an hour through the streets of Edinburgh, getting wall taps, avoiding the traffic, and just having a blast in one of my favorite vehicles. Love this thing.